This is a uh, powered FM antenna from my vast collection of TV and radio antennas. I started collecting them uh, a couple years ago, watching Mad Men and other TV shows set in the uh, 60s. I'd always see these set-top antennas, and some of them are really cool. So I started collecting them. I probably have uh, a couple dozen. But I wasn't using this one anymore, and uh, I decided to, I bought it for $20 on eBay. And I decided to price it at uh, $100. It took a month or so, but uh, somebody kept offering me 50 for it, saying I was way overpriced, yet there wasn't uh, another one up for sale. And uh, shortly after I posted this in a uh, uh, forum on Facebook for uh, stereo, audio, turntables, things like that, uh, somebody had asked the question about antennas. And uh, whenever I see a question like that, I will post something relevant that I have for sale. And it was just a few days after that that this sold for $100. Now this is a vintage Coleman cooler. It's got the plastic top, not the steel top, but it does have the uh, bottle openers and the handles on each side. A little marked up. It's got uh, some faint marking on the top. But even in this condition, uh, it sold for $50. It was just about $3 or $4 at a garage sale over the summer. This is a vintage uh, gooseneck lamp with a dimmer control. It was sitting on my bedside table for about uh, a year and a half. And I finally replaced it with a, a vintage lamp that I had found and decided just to put it up for sale and it sold for $30. These are a couple of four inch tape reels for your smaller vintage portable recorders. I found a bunch of these in a box and finally got around to putting them up for sale and uh, a guy bought two of them for $15 a piece. This is a Carver preamp. This is part of a uh, three-piece buy from a guy last fall who I ended up buying all the turntables from uh, a month ago or so and uh, I paid $50 for this, a matching amplifier and a tuner. The tuner and amp have already sold for pretty good money and now this has sold for $350. This is a vintage L.L. Bean Heather Blue chamois cloth material shirt made in the USA. And uh, I've had this for quite a while. It was just a couple dollars at, a, at St. Vinny's, I believe. And so I finally took a best offer of $20. Getting down there on clothes. I don't have many. Don't really search for them much anymore, but uh, I sure like how easy they are to pack. This is a brochure from a Sony reel-to-reel -reel tape deck, also a uh, glossary of uh, terminology for tape decks put out by Sony. Now I acquired this along with the tape deck when I bought two reel-to-reel -reel tape decks from a small studio in a small town in South Dakota last year. I sold the other tape deck for about $1,000, but I decided to keep the one that this brochure is for because it's very rare and I like it. And this brochure and uh, glossary of terms sold for $20. This is the vintage uh, football game, Pro Photo Football. It's in pretty good shape. I found it at a garage sale over the summer uh, for like 50 cents. And it took quite a while. I've sold a number of these uh, over the years and they usually do take a while but uh, there are collectors or people just looking for a new game and this sold for thirty dollars. These Marantz parts keep selling. Kind of fun. I'm learning a lot about uh, the uh, inner workings of a Marantz amplifier. These uh, they look like fuse holders but they're actually fuse type uh, indicator light holders and these two panels uh, sold for $40. I think I've made uh, a lot more off this uh, parts amp than I would have if I sold it uh, whole and working, which it was not. This is a Harman Kardon amplifier and tuner combination, two separate pieces. Now, 
this is uh, probably from the mid 80s not usually something that uh, I pick up although I probably did because it was cheap like ten dollars I've had it for quite a while but it did finally sell for one hundred and eighty dollars the vintage trucker hat featuring a uh, caricature of a Corvette I haven't sold many trucker hats lately but this one went for twenty five dollars it was probably just part of a huge lot at a garage sale over the summer. This is a pair of Pioneer HPM 100 speakers. They're from the uh, late 70s and very highly regarded. I like listening to them myself, but uh, everything's for sale. And since I'm moving, it was nice to see these uh, sell, especially for uh, $1,300. It was funny. He wrote me first and asked if... Uh, I would sell these speaker stands. I've had these speaker stands. They came with a pair of speakers a couple of years ago, and I've been using them all the time to display speakers. And I always say that the stands aren't included, even though I've had inquiries on them. So I told him I'd ship the stands to him for an extra $40, and he agreed, and he paid $1,340. And the speakers are going uh, to FedEx to be packed professionally. They're going to cost about $30 each, but for me, I'm about done with uh, packing these super huge and heavy speakers. And uh, these speakers came along with uh, a big buy of $400 that included an amp, a preamp, a turntable, and a reel-to-reel -reel deck. And I've sold every piece now. And uh, the total comes to just over uh, $3,600 for everything that's sold. This is a vintage Copenhagen snuff tin, and it's just the lid. And uh, this is in the bottom of a uh, box lot from the auction. And if I would have been closer to the garbage than I was to my photography booth, I probably would have just thrown it away. But instead, I sold it for $10. Another one of my clear Libby coffee mugs sold, but just one. I bought two cases of these for $2 per case. And I priced them at $5 a mug, hoping that uh, people are going to at least buy two. I'm going to have to rethink that. Maybe I should put two as a minimum. But uh, somebody bought it for $5, and they're paying over $8 for shipping. This is another torn and tattered Carhartt coat. This one's pretty rough. Find these at church sale, bag sales. And sometimes uh, they just give them away. And uh, this old Carhartt, tattered the way it is, even sold for $30. This is a box of 10 TDK 60 minute tapes. They've been bulk erased, not by me, but by the person that I bought them from. I bought uh, uh, quite a large quantity and haven't sold any for a while. But uh, this box of 10, I have the, it's probably the uh, uh, type of tape I have the most of. And this sold for $25. More tapes have sold. These are Maxell brand, 90 minute tapes. These have some mute, mood and uh, jazz music recorded on them. And uh, I got a best offer of $52, and they're going to Canada. This is a vintage record cleaning cloth, still new in the package. I acquired a, a number of these uh, with a big stereo buy last year. And uh, it's from uh, a record store or uh, equipment seller in New York City and I thought somebody might be familiar with that and this is actually the second one of these I've sold for $20.